Welcome to Drone U HQ. Welcome to Drone News Now. My name is Paul, and not the AI version. Let's see how this goes. In the biggest drone news not being reported anywhere because most people don't teach from experience, we are looking at part 108. The Trump administration enacted a series of significant executive orders this week, and there's actually a lot of information if you have watched those executive orders. One of those executive orders is a regulation freeze or a regulatory freeze on all federal agencies. Now, while people in the Trump cabinet have said that aviation, specifically unmanned aviation, has fallen significantly behind our competitors like China due to FAA red tape, their regulatory freeze might actually have the unintended consequences of actually uh, holding up the industry even more. As the FAA was supposed to launch part 108, part 108 was the beyond visual line of sight systematic implementation, allowing drone pilots to implement, well, beyond visual line of sight, things like drone delivery for golf courses, or maybe you want Torchy's tacos and you want that amazing Republican taco I'm more of a trailer park kind of guy, and uh, you'd be able to get that taco via <laughs> delivered via drone, and Part 108 would make it really, really easy for companies to do that, allowing also mom and pop shops to allow for easy drone delivery to increase their sales. Well, with the regulatory freeze, it has a lot of people wondering, is Part 108 going to be frozen too? Should be interesting, and adding another obstacle in the road for the drone industry. Man, I wish we had regulations like Africa. Great job, Zipline. All right, moving into next piece of news. As you can see, I'm not as succinct as the AI version of me. Um, but DJI has removed the DJI GeoZone 2.0 from the Pilot app and from the Go app. Many people have stated incorrectly that this removes no-fly zones across DJI drones. That is not true. FAA controlled airspace and FAA guidance is still inside of the app showcase as enhanced warning zones and warning zones themselves. So while people are saying, oh, this is horrible, now people can fly drones wherever they want to, that's not true. That being said, many people have been wanting to have the ultimate responsibility. Why? Because part 107 says the drone pilot is now ultimately responsible. Now that China Daddy, I mean DJI, has removed a lot of the nefarious and, well, erroneous no-fly zones across the United States, drone pilots who have legitimate right and responsibility to fly can now do so without asking China Daddy. Thanks, DJI. Moving on to our next piece of uh, news this week, we're talking about fires and no-fly zones. No-fly zones over the Pacific Palisades fire still exist because a DJI Mini 3 Pro ran into a firefighting plane, which was putting out the fires. Now the FBI is uh, seems to be asking Ben Affleck a lot of questions. As we originally reported, it's gonna be really interesting to see if DJI complies with the FBI. It, they have done so before. They provided the serial number and name of a nefarious pilot to the NTSB previously in 2018 when a small drone collided with a Black Hawk helicopter around New York. It's going to be interesting to see, though, if DJI is actually going to comply with the FBI this time and provide the name associated with the serial number so that way the FBI can go after the pilot that caused so much damage to a guy who is a good pilot doing some good for the Palisades fire. That said, uh, fires seem to be quite the stir this week as Amazon has paused its drone delivery program after two crashes on their new MK30 drone platform have actually started a fire. Who would have known with lithium? Hmm, weird. Anyway, long story short is they are kind of reining it back in, which is a bummer for all of us who love those last minute midnight purchases of tea, food, and crumpets. Not me, might be you. It should be interesting to see what happens in the political realm this week, but that's your drone news from all of us here at Drone U HQ, where we go above and beyond flight school to provide you with information derived from knowledge and experience. Hey, hey, what, isn't that amazing? If you wanna join us and you wanna learn more than most and gain confidence and confidence unlike what anyone else can provide, then check us out at thedroneu.com where you can get the best information to take flight confidently. My name is Paul, and if you have a question, ask droneu.com.